girls? Welcome back to a new vlog. So I'm gonna start this off by doing a little bow and tea haul for you. I'm gonna grab all these pieces and head on over to my office so that I can share and try everything on for you. I am partnering with them on this portion of today's vlog. I am so excited to partner with them on this because I've actually have never tried out bow and tea before. So I'm so excited to try it all on and share my thoughts on everything. I always hear incredibly good things about them and they're always all over my Instagram. And if you don't know what bow and tea is, it is Opali's activewear brand. Okay, let's get comfy, let's get into it. So all of the pieces that I have to share with you today is a part of their tone and transform collection. These tones are absolutely everything and perfect for the fall and autumn time everything is just so tonal and oh just perfect for the season they of course have like the classic black in this you can never not have black right they have brown they have blue and they also have this really really pretty rust color so those are all the colors that make up the collection i pretty much have one item from every style in this collection so this is definitely going to be a very well-rounded review here right off the bat i can tell that these items are going to be perfect for really any occasion if you want to train in them do yoga if you just want to wear them for daily wear too like for running errands and such these are going to be perfect and really why i say that you'll see in a second like the type of style that all these pieces are it just totally would work for anything another thing i noticed is just like the overall fabric of these items it's not like anything i've ever felt before for a seamless type of line of course my memory card would get full right in the middle of me talking where was i i think i was talking about the fabric so the fabric on this yes i just feel like it's like anything i've ever felt from a seamless line it's so soft and like sleeky and these definitely have some weight to it it's a little bit thicker and they just feel really high quality for a very inexpensive price point too this whole line is between 30 to 40 dollars so freaking good and affordable so anyways that is like my initial first thoughts on it let's break down each of the items let's start with the sports bras the first one is called Awaken, and as you can see here, it is a square-necked, pretty minimal sports bra. It does have padding in it, and in this one, I kept the padding in so you can see what it looks like. This one, I ended up removing the padding in it. I really like this square neckline, because you can see, like, it doesn't just cut off. Like, this fabric right here angles upward, so it helps to provide, like, better coverage overall. I love the skinny straps on this, and the fact that the straps are adjustable, too. I love that detail. I feel like it really helps the sports bra to fit absolutely everyone this does have a nice ribbed underband to it too that helps to provide support but overall i would say that this is a low impact sports bra i definitely can train in these sort of sports bra the sort of impact doesn't matter too much to me but it might matter to others so i figured i would mention that aspect of it i also got these in a size small and for me it does run a little big i would prefer to get this one in a size extra small which is my typical true to size size so i would say in this sports bra to definitely make sure that it fits just overall very snug, keeps your girls in and just nice and secure. I would go true to size. You can even probably size down in these and be totally fine too. But this material, oh, you got, I cannot get over it. It feels so good on this skin. It's incredible. The next one is the Merge Sports Bra that I ended up getting in a size small too. So similar sentiment as the last one. I would definitely recommend going with your true to size size. This one would have fit a lot better on me if I got it in a size extra small, but I'm not mad at all about how this fits on me. It just makes it more of a low impact sports bra like I was saying this one is a lot of fun because you can see that it has a little plunging v detail in the front and then the straps are more of like this cross strap asymmetrical detail that i think is just so fun like one strap is just solid and thick and the next is just like a little bit strappy too absolutely obsessing over this blue color too but overall it has a very supportive ribbed underband to it too it has nice thick material so none of these items are see-through if you were to remove the padding which is also a really nice aspect of it the last style is called the overhaul sports bra so this one is very much like a classic razorback sports bra but i love that the razorback has this little knot detail right here and that the front is similar to the last one where it plunges a little bit in the front too i like that even though it plunges it's not too booby on me i feel like it still gives me some good coverage overall to it this one is a good option if you want a little bit more coverage in the stomach area because you can see that this lower ribbed band is a little bit longer than the other ones i really really like this one and the details of this one i got this in a size small as well i would have preferred to get this one in a size extra small too okay so next up is the bottoms i got the shorts and the leggings too i am so happy so happy with these ones because for me and wearing seamless leggings it's really hard to find leggings that don't gape at the back 
and these ones do not do that at all they sit completely like flush overall they're nice and tight and snug yet super comfortable i am definitely a fan of these ones so first up with the shorts they are called flash and they are mini shorts so i would say the inseam on this is probably maybe two and a half inches maybe three inches on these a few things right off the bat that i noticed about these that are very unique that i haven't seen in other ones is the fact that it has a curved waist to it so you can see that the back of the waist sits up a little bit higher than the front so it provides really good coverage overall in the back this curved detail is just so unique i really like it, it really helps things to stay in spot they're obviously very high-waisted and another unique detail about this is it has a little scrunched detail right here on the butt so it helps to accentuate the butt a little bit more make it look even better than it does seamless shorts and leggings in general i just feel like really help to make sure that there's no camel toe i don't know how seamless leggings and shorts just make that a non-issue but for these more in particular with with the inseam length being shorter. I really like that these don't write up and that these don't roll up either. For these, I can wear a size extra small or an extra extra small. These ones in particular are size extra extra small and they don't roll up on me. However, I feel like smaller sizes could roll up. So for these, I would recommend going with your usual size. They're meant to fit pretty tight overall against your body and they have a nice thick material just like everything else. So they are sweat and squat proof too, which is really nice. Last item up is the Surge leggings. So this one I got in three colors. I got it in the brown, the blue and also the black too these ones are incredible for the same like gaping reason as i mentioned with the shorts it also has the same curved waist detailing as the shorts too they're very high waisted it has the same like little cute cinch butt detail the material of these is really nice and thick so just like the shorts these are squat proof too it also helps with preventing sweat to show through them another aspect that i noticed right off the bat on these leggings too is that the waistband does not slip so i feel like a lot of seamless leggings that i find i tend to pull on the waist to keep them from sliding down but these ones they stay put too so that's a really nice aspect of these leggings that i absolutely love the inseam length on these i would say is around 24 to 25 inches i find that it hits me right at my ankle just like a lot of other 7 8 length leggings do so that's why i would say it's around like that 24 25 inch inseam which is the perfect and seeing the length that I absolutely love in all of my leggings. But these are all the bow and tee pieces that I wanted to share. You guys know the drill. Everything I talked about will be linked down in the description, including my sizing and like the color information too. I'm also going to be working out in this in a little bit. It is my goal to work out today and nothing motivates me more than wearing a new workout outfit. <laughs> I mean, right? I can't be the only one on that. That is like 100% a motivation factor for me. But in the meantime, I'm going to go pack up everything. I'm gonna spend the weekend over at Juan's house. So I need to go pack up everything. I'm taking Oliver with me too. So I need to get him packed up. And then I'll just see you guys over at Juan's house in a little bit. So, any guesses what's in the box? I don't want to guess. You don't want to guess? No. Why not? <laughs> it's for my bedroom. It's for your bedroom. Something with the bed. What? <laughs> what would be for the bed? I mean, I don't see how anything would fit on that box. <laughs> it's a new bed! No, I'm just kidding. Although we are in process of getting all new furniture in this bedroom. We're going to upgrade this to a king size bed, obviously get an actual frame instead of a college frame. <laughs> actual nightstands, like everything is changing in this room. I'm really excited. I was on Target. I saw it. It was a shot in the dark. I thought maybe it would look really good in here. Okay. So, I don't know, it looks cool online. I mean, it could be what, like the bench? That, but no, it cannot be a bench on that box. It is a it bench. Is, it is a bench? It's a bench. But I think it, it's the same material as my chair. You know what I mean? It could not work out. It looks so good and all the reviews were good on it too that I had to take a shot. It is the largest one that they have? And it's only one size. Okay. So this is the, the top of it. Oh, that material. Yeah. The boot clay, boot, boot. Yeah, but I thought you were chair like you have this. Oh, no. The lounge chair. This feels really soft. Yeah, so let's make this. Should be really easy. And it's just um, like a metal frame. Like a black metal frame. Here's the bench, all finished. I actually think it's really cute. What do you think of it? I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see when we buy everything else. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I thought that the, the colors were neutral with the black and then the cream. And then the bed will most likely be white. The frame might be like a different sort of color, but the furniture is definitely going to be wood. So having like a different texture and element in here with black and then that sort of material, I thought would be like nice thing to like switch everything up. Oliver, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> He's trying to adjust <laughs> to being over here. He's scared of everything. <laughs> Juan wanted me to show the bench again once the bed was made. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> Good morning. So we're gonna get that workout in today, this morning. Gonna get it over with, get it done with. So while I didn't necessarily get to it yesterday, we are getting to it today and it's better late than never. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. You should never beat yourself up over that as long as you're getting to it, you know? That's at least my mentality to it. If you're new, I love to use the Nike Training Club app. They have some like amazing workouts that have really gotten me in shape. I really um, have fallen off. A little bit and I need to get back into it so I'm hoping that this is the start of me getting back into it we're gonna start it off easy not push myself too much since it's been a while like I said and we're gonna do a lower body workout because I just feel like I mean that's the largest muscle group so it'll help to burn the most calories you know for me so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get this set up and then let's get to it and through the hips and the knees and you're gonna keep your chest nice and tall. I don't want you creeping forward. I want those shoulders back. In a safe place, I got room to breathe. Been a long chase, but at last I'm free. These open woods, I knew I could find peace here. Nothing like that. Oh, you guys, I just finished filming my denim haul, which I'm so excited for. The last time I did a denim haul was what, spring of this year? And this haul is all a goldy denim, which is my favorite favorite denim of all time and I think I found some really good new styles too so yeah I'm just uploading the footage to make sure that everything looks good before I take off my full outfit turn off the lighting and put things away that video will already be at the time that you're watching this so I'll make sure I'm linking it go give it a watch if you haven't already let's see let's make sure I'm uploading this oh I forgot to create a new project let's do that event what date will this be going up? The 19th, right? Denim haul. Guys, I am starving too. It's after three o'clock. I haven't had lunch. I need to go get lunch, but I really, really, really wanted to get this video over with before, <laughs> before I did that. So let's, we're gonna do that next after I upload this footage and all like that sort of stuff. Okay, project is created. Let's import the footage to that project. Okay. Mm, guys, I'm so happy. I had new shoes get delivered, Nike shoes. So I figured I would uh, just show you the two pairs that I got. One is a pair of Air Jordans. Can we talk about this for a second? Because I don't feel like I've ever been truly obsessed with shoes. Like I love getting new shoes. I love getting like the new styles and everything, but I've never been one to necessarily like start a collection. <laughs> or anything of like a specific shoe you know what i mean and something about the air jordans i literally want all of them like all the colorways that i can get my hands on i mean i guess it's a cheaper obsession than yeezys i i don't even know it's kind of insane okay so let's share the air jordans first and then the second pair you all just wait to talk about those ones so I am so in love with these. So the launch just happened this last week. It happened on Nike's regular app, in case anybody asks like where I got these. Now they're not available anymore on Nike. They completely sold out. So they would be available on like say StockX or something like that. Or maybe stop the website and see if they come back. But I got this pair, which is like a dark brown color. It's called Bronze Eclipse. Love this color. I am so into browns. And these are just gorgeous and they're just 
oh, they're gonna go with everything. So yeah, just the, like the low top Jordans. I get them in a size five, a women's size five. That is my true to size size that works perfect for me. For instance, with Air Force Ones, Air Force Ones run extremely big. So actually a women's five is too big on me. So Air Force Ones, I can only get in kid sizes. So I need to go a little bit smaller. So anyways, that's a little weird. And then the next pair, I got the Nike Air Max Plus Premium, which is like a shoe I never thought that I would be drawn to at all. But I saw that these were running out of stock. And I also looked on StockX and saw that these go for well over retail as well. I didn't know anything about these. They, they must be really popular. And putting these on my feet, I just put them on. That's why I like the boxes open. It's kind of unbelievable how comfortable these are. I couldn't believe it. It has like all like this air, whatever technology in it. <laughs> Look at me sounding so smart talking about Nikes. <laughs> Jokes. But love like this pearl detail on it and just mixed with like the cloth and everything. I think that's a really, really flattering shoe. I have been so picky to find like a white sneaker like this that's not street style that's like more of an activewear white sneaker and i haven't been able to find the right one like the black ends up coming up on the top a little bit more and i don't like it or it's a gum bottom or there's other colors of whites and blues mixed in i don't know i've been really 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 particular i really really like this pair a lot so tell me what you guys think about these it's a very expensive shoe but i feel like i really really like them so I'll give it a thought for a second. This is taking forever to upload. I had like over 40 minutes of footage. <laughs> Not my day. I kept messing up a lot while filming. So this is a video I'm gonna, uh, I need to cut in half. It needs to be under 20 minutes. I try to do that for my hauls. I hate having haul videos over 20 minutes. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Hopefully it's fine. Cause sometimes I can't make it less than 20 anyway something that I tell myself at least. So yeah, let's upload this footage. I'm gonna see how it looks and then we're gonna get some lunch. I'm thinking Chipotle, cause it sounds delicious. <laughs> Babe, Chipotle was closed. No. Yeah, I go there. I got Panera instead. I go and it's busy. I'm pulling on the door, the door's locked and I see people in there working. I even see orders, like to-go orders ready. And I'm like pulling on the doors and they're both locked. And then I was trying to like knock because people could see that I'm trying to like open the doors. I was trying to like get their attention because I wanted to ask like why they're closed during business hours. <laughs> and no one would come to the door at all. They were just like, sorry. And I'm like, dude, it's 4 p.m. You close at 10 p.m. Like what the F is going on? And here I am starving, so like I'm like, it's making me angry, you know? Yeah. So on the fly, I was like, okay, well, Panera's right there. So I guess I'll just get Panera. Babe, bizarre. The weirdest thing. So yeah, went to Panera and I just got some mac and cheese instead. This looks delicious. I love Panera's mac and cheese. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. And for that, I'm having a Coke. Uh, uh. I deserve one. deserve one. After all of that. Right. Right. <laughs> Have you just been playing video games? No, I washed the dishwasher. You what? I washed, put everything in the dishwasher, clean. Oh. Put, uh, put the green away and turn the music off. All in the 20 minutes I was gone? When are you wanting to go for the walk? Were you just gonna go by yourself or? <laughs> or what? I will go. You will go. If? If pictures. If you take a picture for me. One. Please. One. Well, not a single picture, but like an outfit picture in uh, one location. Uh, so like a series of photos? No, no, no. Like a whole book? No, <laughs> just like, the, like what we normally do. Just like what? We normally do. Is that a deal? Mm. It's taking you a very long time to think about that. Might have, Might have a deal. Wow. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna play that game, can I watch Grey's Anatomy while I eat? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. 
Instead of just like staring. What episode am I on? Cause I'm on your account, so I have like no idea. Season 11, episode nine. Where do we go from here? For sure that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Like, I would say older than teenagers. Maybe oh, adults 20s, are having? Early 20s. Mm hmm They are playing ping pong and having greens and stuff. No, yeah, we should join them. <laughs> okay. What? You're not in your early 20s. Sorry. Uh, hey, don't. Hey. I could still be fun. No, no, you can't. That's so rude. It's <laughs> not rude, it's a fact. I can be fun <laughs> when I'm not around you. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing our, our walk to the park right now. I didn't bring my camera, I didn't bring anything on me, so I'm filming on my phone. Do you want to go to the cemetery? <laughs> not really. Do you? Is this where you're going to be buried? <laughs> Hopefully not today. Well, not today. I just... <laughs> you're going to stay here forever. I have my hood on because I am so cold. Well, okay. Let me take that back. 70 degrees. <laughs> it's not 70 degrees. Don't lie. <laughs> don't make me seem like a liar. I'm not a liar. Let's see. It's probably what? 60 degrees? 57. Look. Regardless, while he's looking it up, I'm hot underneath because we're like walking. So like my temperature is like rising. 65. But 65? Okay. But my ears, and the wind is blowing, okay? So it's Definitely. cold. Show? Show the leaves? The leaves are not Show the leaves. When we were walking over by the street because of cars and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> is that my ears are really sensitive. So my ears are really, really cold and it's making me feel a little miserable. So I put the hood on to help my ears not be cold. So that way, babe, I'm doing this for you. Yeah. So that way I'm not complaining and bitching and you making are. your walk miserable. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I haven't complained since I put my hood up. <laughs> so we've been good. <laughs> we never agree on anything. I mean, it's because you don't like to be wrong. <laughs> This doesn't work in a relationship. <laughs> you can't always just seek out to be right all the time. You have to compromise. You have to see the other person's point of view. It can't be always who's right, who's wrong. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Doomed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a deer. There's a deer ahead. <gasps> oh my god. So I'm getting Oliver's dinner ready and we're gonna try something new for him. When we were on our little walk, we were walking to Safeway. <laughs> Long story, because we wanted to get uh, some apple pie. We might have that tonight. But we stopped by a food store because I wanted to see if they have like Oliver's food there. Like the brand is Lotus and a lot of local places or a lot of like the big chains and stuff like don't sell it. So I was wanting to see if that local store near where Juan lives like carried it or not. They didn't carry the dry food that I feed Oliver, but they did carry raw food and also wet food. And I was very curious of the raw food um, for multiple reasons. So anyways, they had like free samples in the Lotus brand there. And so I got it to try. Why not? Do like a little bit more research on it. Research that I found so far, I think it's actually a good idea. So this is what it is. The turkey, if you guys have cats, that is. I have been thawing it out and I've been trying to get it ready to go on a plate right here and I let him eat a little bit off of the fork and I didn't know like how he would react to it. You guys, he is following me around everywhere I go waiting for this dish. It is hilarious. Like look at him. Are you ready? I was thinking I needed to ease him into this because it's 
I mean raw food and I've just been feeding him dry food this topic might be super boring but it's something that's been on my mind that he needs more moisture into his diet cats need more moisture they're carnivores you know what I mean they don't need vegetables and grains and like that sort of stuff like they need just like raw meat so anyways let's feed this to him and see how he is I feel like he's gonna chow down on it oh babe do you think he's gonna throw up because of his issue with eating too fast yeah, I hope not. Because he gets so excited about food sometimes that he just like eats it so fast. I talked about in the last vlog that he like ends up throwing up a little bit. Okay, let's try it anyway. <laughs> here, I'll put it right here. <laughs> what do you think, bud? I think he likes it. That was only a fourth of like the little thing. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. Right? I was thinking that was gonna be safe, but maybe this is still too much. I don't know, this is making me kind of happy. Like I feel like he's eating something that's better for him than the dry cat food, you know? Are you uh, getting the pie out? Is that this? Dinner? Is that why you're looking in the refrigerator? Is that dinner? I think so. Like you had lunch at 3 p.m. I had lunch after 4 p.m., 4.30. I'm not hungry at all. It's 9 p.m. Like, I'm hungry for apple pie. <laughs> but I'm not hungry for, like, a dinner. <laughs> okay. Ice cream, too? Yeah. Oh. We're fine with just the apple pie. He just glared at me. He's like, bitch, why are you watching me eat? <laughs> oh, no. That's way too frozen. <laughs> you are my issue. Already? I'm not having any ice cream. I'll just have the apple pie. I don't want the ice cream. Babe. I don't need ice cream. Safeway, if you guys have one around you, makes one of the best apple crumb pies ever. Or what do they call it? They call it a, a Dutch apple pie. This is so good. What are you doing? What movie? Black Widow? Are we watching that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I guess we're watching a movie. So much for not having sweets. Really? I said so much for not having sweets. This is so good. Yes. Dude, he's cleaning the plate. I know. He loves it. So if it turns out Oliver does like that food, which it looks like he does, but it's a raw diet. So I want to make sure that his reaction is good and all like that sort of stuff. I think what I'm going to do is substitute out what I give him in the morning. No substitute what I give him at night for this instead. So then he gets like a combination of the dry food that does still have like some good nutrients in it. And then he has this as well. You know what I mean? I feel like that's like, would make a pretty balanced meal for him. I don't know, I thought, we'll see what I end up doing. He's just getting older. So I just wanna make sure that he's getting all the nutrition that he needs to prevent like a UTI, which is very common in cats that have just dry food or any other sorts of diseases and stuff. So that's my reason for wanting to switch it up. Hello, good morning. So I'm getting ready to go shopping with Juan. We're gonna go look at beds and like mattresses and stuff. Hopefully we can make some decisions today. I mean, this is our first time like looking at them so i don't know if we're gonna make any decisions i'm trying to find some socks yeah so we'll see if we make any decisions at all um as far as like outfit goes i didn't really bring anything to go out in so i'm kind of like makeshifting something i have like this beyond yoga tank that i love so much on some aligns these are in french press and then i think i'm just gonna like throw this hoodie that i was wearing yesterday on over top it looks pretty cloudy and gross outside it looks like it's probably gonna be cold oh it's 56 degrees so we're gonna wear this i'm a little out of breath because juan's downstairs like waiting he's talking to his mom because it's uh mother's day in argentina but um he has been ready for like an hour <laughs> and then i think i'm just gonna throw my apls on and those are already downstairs so i think we're ready to go Let's put a little bit of perfume on. Smell good. Yeah, this works. This works, this works. 
let's go downstairs, talk to Juan's mom, and then let's head on out. I have no idea the plan for today, like exactly where we're going or anything like that, but I'll bring you along. What are you gonna do while I'm gone? Are you just gonna do this? Are you just going to lounge? Hmm? Little baby. Start with the moves, don't wanna meditate Girl, with you it's hard Fill in the blanks, text me back Throw me a kiss instead of them tricks Don't make it hard I wanna celebrate, you know Art togetherness, both my we're back home now. No decisions were made at all, but we did go to sleep number, which I think we're gonna end up getting a sleep number bed. We're just trying to decide which one and like the exact like configuration that we really want. And then we also went to a Pottery Barn and looked at bed frames and look at fabric swatches and grabbed like a bunch of fabric swatches to take home too. We're most likely gonna get a bed from Pottery Barn as well, but anyway, we just need to like narrow it down a little bit. We rushed back home so that Juan can watch his soccer game. River Plate is his favorite team from Argentina. We also got a couple of pies here too. So I'm gonna go eat this pie. Oh, we also did go to Anthropology and there was 20% off of candles. So we got two candles. I can show you guys, hang on a second. These are our favorites like for reed diffusers and Juan already has a couple around his house. And we saw that they just had like refillable ones instead of having to get like the full glass with the reed diffusers. So we just got the oil itself. The volcano scent is like, oh, so, so amazing. I couldn't resist the look of this. Look how pretty this is. And I thought like, especially with the upcoming season, green with Christmas and everything, it would just like go with all of our decor too. Oh smells incredible this is birchwood and cashmere scents and then the last candle is another one from the capri blue brand volcano scent too but it's like in a black jar which i just like love this aesthetic <sighs> so good it's our favorite scent in a candle so that's all we got and then these were the color of swatches that we got to test out which one. I don't know if we want to go like more of the beigey routes, but yeah, a kind of a mix between performance fabrics and non-performance fabrics, but we're definitely going to go for like an upholstered bed frame. So we'll, we'll see what we end up doing there. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, eat this pie before it gets cold and we'll just go ahead and end off the vlog here. We had a pretty, exciting long weekend and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching along i'll see you guys next time love you guys so much hopefully you had a good week yourself bye mm -hmm.